It's 11.30 on Friday. I just got off the bus in Toronto to a couple of pictures posted from a four-year-old and a seven-year-old wishing me luck on the walk. Um, <laughs> I'm just about through. I'm just, it was incredible. I'm just about through. I'm in, um, I'm in honestly, probably the most superficial part of... Um, or maybe not the most superficial part, but I have uh, I've encountered the most superficial people since leaving on the 12th. And um, those pictures came at an amazing time. The pictures I talk about are the pictures drawn by a four-year-old and a seven-year-old wishing me luck. It, um, as I posted, it begs me to it begs me to question if a four-year-old and a seven-year-old can extend in all of their innocence. The, the, the time and the effort and the heart put into the into those into those cute little pictures um, you know in all of their innocence I wonder you know they sit down and they do that and there's so many so many out there that absolutely know better and you spend all of your time all of your energy thoughts anger rage everything else you waste so much into the hate placed on the less fortunate and the homeless and everything else and these two little girls can do that it's absolutely huge that's why I'm out here that's that's not only, that's not the only reason I'm I'm walking to Ottawa that's not the only reason that I do my walks to London that's not the only reason I go to my office every day to do what I do that's a, that's going that's fueling me for the rest of this when I walk up and I meet MP Joe Preston on Monday at the Eternal Flame. I mean that sh stuff right there fuels me. It makes it, it it makes what I'm doing out here so much worthwhile to see that um, the generation after the waste that uh, walks around now. There's hope that you know these two little girls make me realize that um, there's hope for more people to do what they're doing. Um, for the less fortunate, the people that go to their office, the people that go to work at the shelters every day, the people that volunteer at the food banks, the people that do what they do, not the lady that sounds like she just fell down the stairs. So, um, it's, it's moving. And you know what, I'm going to take those two pictures with me. I seriously, um, if, uh, if there was something that uh, I um, was willing to do, I'd probably have those as my next tattoos to carry with me when I leave Newfoundland to walk to Vancouver in May. I, I just, I don't understand how it is that these two little girls can do that, yet it is hard to, uh, it is hard to even hear, can you spare some change, I'm hungry, and all of the other needless, absolutely waste that, that, that takes place every single day. Um, I, I, I honestly, I am baffled, and in the words of, uh, in the words of my brother Merv, what have you done today? What have I done today? All I'm doing is walking and raising awareness. I'm not just asking for the awareness. Just like I told the young lady, Nicole, um, in my interview in just by the CN Tower, I'm not out just to raise awareness for, for the less fortunate. I'm out to raise awareness that action needs to take place. And my hope is, is that action will take place. These two little girls gave me hope for that. Um, I'm looking around the Greyhound station. Um, coming in just now, I saw a guy sleeping on a curb, and I saw one guy kick his foot. Or it wasn't, it wasn't even kicking his foot. He kicked his ankle and just kept walking. Why is it that it's, it's easy to put that kind of energy into whatever needless action, whatever the intent was behind that, how is it that it's so easy to do that, but it wouldn't be to just to look at him and say, I love you, man. Get him a cup of coffee. I'll never understand. I'll absolutely understand if everybody, um, if everybody's able to turn and say, you know what, that's cool. We can help you up. I'm not saying give handouts, give hand ups, yeah?